Hello, amazing people! Today I am going to show you how to make these cycling shorts. Or you can also make leggings, because the process of making is exactly the same. It is beginner-friendly project and also it's a very quick one. I'm going to use the leggings sewing pattern from our Etsy and online store. You can find the links down in the description. Since cycling shorts are shorter version of leggings, I cut the pattern to the length I want. Also, you will need a stretch jersey material with at least 50% stretch. I am going to use this super soft ribbed cotton. If you want the waistband to be more firm, I suggest using an elastic band, which is 4 cm wide. Also, a matching thread. I will use a serger, but you can also use a sewing machine only. You can find instructions what sewing machine stitches you can use in our Instagram. You can scan this QR code to open the Instagram video, or you can find the link in the description. And I will also use sewing machine for top stitching and hemming. Now let's cut out the details. Remember to make sure that the grain line is parallel to salvage. For the waistband, I will cut the notches at the middle. In this way, it will be easier for me to later match the waistband detail with the front seam. Now lay back panels together with front panels, right sides facing. If you need to, you can pin both side seams. I will skip the pinning and serge the side seams right away. Press the side seams towards the back panels. Now stitch inside leg seams. Press the seams towards the back panel. Now leave one leg with the wrong side out but take the other leg and flip it so the right side is out. Now slip the leg with the right side out into the other leg, so both right sides are facing each other. Match the inside leg seams. Stitch around the crotch seam. Flip that one leg out and press only the upper sides of the seam. Press the seam towards one side and it doesn't matter to which side you are pressing it. Let's prepare the waistband now. Fold the waistband on half, right sides facing, and stitch the side seam. I am going to use a sewing machine for the seam because then I can get a flatter result, but you can also use a serger. 
and press the seam open. Now fold the waistband on half and press the upper edge. For the elastic band I will be using a zigzag stitch. I will set the sewing machine to a wide zigzag stitch but uh, to higher density. Now lay both ends of the elastic band on top of each other and stitch. After you have prepared the waistband and elastic band, take the elastic band and put it inside the waistband. Secure the elastic band inside the waistband by sewing a zigzag stitch around the open edge 5 mm apart from the edge. Lay the waistband right sides together with the shorts. Match the waistband notch with the front center seam and the waistband seam with the leggings back center seam. Stitch around. My favorite method of hiding the loose threads from the overlock is by using a tapestry needle with a big eye. So I put these threads in that needle and I hide the loose ends inside the seam. In this way I am very sure that even after the washing the seam will not tear. Turn the waistband up and press the seam towards the shorts. Work from the right side to top stitch the waistband. Sew 5 mm next to joining seam, catching the seam you made previously. If you have a cover stitch machine, you can use it right now, but if you don't have it, no worries. Simply neaten the hem allowance. Fold the hem allowance 2.5 cm wide and pin. Top stitch the lower edge by catching the hem. Use a zigzag, three step stitch, or other sewing machine stitches that are more elastic compared to the regular straight stitch. Now give the final press, and you have finished.
leave a comment in what color are you going to make these shorts. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more sewing tutorials. Bye!